Liverpool set for injury return versus Brighton as players line up comebacks. Liverpool are preparing for the final weeks of the season and are set to be bolstered by several returning players if the timing of Liverpool's relentless injuries this season has left something to be desired. The same cannot be said for the imminent return of so many key players. With the Reds revving up for a last hurrah under Jurgen Klopp and a run-in that could yet ensure a glorious farewell for the departing boss, the squad is gradually being strengthened at the moment they will most be needed. Having only recently been without as many as 13 senior professionals, the Reds are now starting to return to something approaching full strength heading into an important week of three Premier League games, with Sunday's visit of Brighton followed by a home clash against Sheffield United next Thursday and a trip to bitter Northwest rivals Manchester United three days later. The ankle problem suffered by Andy Robertson for Scotland against Northern Ireland in midweek was the one concern to emerge from the international break, although scans have shown no serious damage, with player not facing an extended spell on the sidelines. The left back remains a doubt for Brighton, however. Otherwise, the outlook is positive. Ibrahima Konate missed the last three Liverpool games, but came through 90 minutes for France in their friendly against Chile on Tuesday, while Darwin Nunes withdrew from Uruguay's friendlies to help improve his recovery from a hamstring problem that has niggled away for the past six weeks. Curtis Jones, who hasn't played since limping off at Brentford in mid-February, is expected to be in contention against Brighton although that game remains too soon for Trent Alexander-Arnold and Diogo Jota. Alexander-Arnold, who has missed 12 of Liverpool's last 16 games with a knee issue, and Jota, another injured at Brentford with his own knee complaint, are more likely to be available for the following weekend at Old Trafford, with the latter having already resumed individual training. Alison Becker, who hasn't featured for almost two months, remains several weeks away from full training after a hamstring complaint with Klopp, having previously stated he expects the goalkeeper to play again this season. The Brazilian is likely to be back in action by the end of next month. Klopp revealed earlier this month that Stefan Bicetic, who has featured only twice this term due to an injury. Klopp revealed earlier this month that Stefan Bicetic, who has featured only twice this term due to an injury related to his growth that has required careful management, has undergone a mini preseason and is likely to shortly be in team training. But Ben Doak, missing since December due to a torn meniscus, is still in the recovery stage of his rehabilitation. Joel Matip was not expected to play again this season after damaging his ACL in December, but recently reached a significant landmark by returning to running on the grass. However, Tiago Alcantara, who, like Matip, is out of contract in the summer, is likely to be missing for the remainder of the term after suffering a hamstring injury during his sole brief outing of the campaign as a late substitute at Arsenal in February.